Dispatch exposes Minute He Jin's alleged lies with damning photos. On December 2, 2024, Dispatch released a series of exposés about Minute He Jin's alleged lies. In a numbered list, the tabloid detailed their debunk of multiple statements from the former CEO, including some damning photos of her meeting up with New Jeans and their family members. 1. Minute He Jin's past comments about artists. Minute He Jin's past text messages were released by Dispatch. Dispatch did not provide any context to the text messages, but accused Minute He Jin of making them about New Jeans. Working hard while tamping down disgust? LOL. Feels like I'm working for the benefit of others. It's wasted on upkeep for immature kids. Oh. What would they know? It gives me a reality check when I see how they are only thinking of dancing while looking at the mirror. Is this what they call working? What artists? I have said so many times that they are not artists. Don't annoy me by saying that word. What artists? 2. Alleged knowledge of New Jean's first live broadcast and using the members to speak. New Jeans previously held a shocking live broadcast where they claimed that no managers or staff knew about the broadcast. They also mentioned a strong request for wanting Minute He Jin to be reinstated. Dispatch obtained a text from Minute He Jin to the girl's family members dated on September 11, 2024, the same day as the broadcast. In the text, Minute He Jin states that she hopes Hype will make an offer of reinstatement. Dispatch claimed that Minute He Jin used the girls to speak up for her given that her request aligns with that of New Jeans. Minute He Jin relays what she replied to an unnamed source, to the girl's family members. I hope that you will propose an offer of cooperation in response to my clear request to be reinstated to CEO, in order to normalize management again. This was my reply to them. Through other texts, it can also be noted that Minute He Jin knew about the YouTube live stream. Family member. Are they doing the live stream now? Minute He Jin. Member redacted. S Dad. No. At 7. We pushed it back a little on purpose because bunnies released something amazing. Hype got caught cursing me out, and even their sexual harassment was revealed. Thank God. He's setting up the stage for the girls to do well. Family member. Is the YouTube live stream at 7? 3. Hanny's audit appearance. Hanny previously stated through messages that the company and managers did not know that she decided on making an appearance at the audit against Hype. The night before the audit on October 8, 2024, Dispatch caught Hanny visiting Minute He Jin's studio. Dispatch claimed that the legal documents wielded in hand by Hanny were likely to be a summons from the officials due to the audit, leading Dispatch to believe that she had a talk with Minute He Jin the night before the audit. 4. Minute He Jin meeting with Davalink through Hyun's uncle. Previously, rumors of Minute He Jin meeting up with Davalink, a company linked with Hyun's uncle, went viral. She was accused of keeping in contact with them as an investor. Then, Minute He Jin denied through an official statement that she was not in contact with external investors, denying a case similar to 5050's tampering. Dispatch caught her meeting up with Hyun's uncle and the owner of Davalink. It was said that Hyun's uncle had linked the two up, with Minute He Jin traveling to meet the owner at his house in a van sent by Hyun's uncle. They allegedly spoke for three hours in his in-house meeting room. It was said that they had discussed the possibility of taking new jeans with her, out of hype. It was said that Hyun's uncle first, Asked her and K's CEO could invest around 5.00 billion Korean ones, about $3.58 million. The CEO spoke to Dispatch, claiming that he was approached first, and that Hyun's uncle seemed to be looking for investors, admitting to having conversed with Minute for three hours. On October 2, 2024, according to an automated online business registration system, two new internal directors were reported for Davalink. This took place two days after Min's meeting with the CEO. Ah Lee and Aim Park were registered. The CEO claimed that Minute He Jin had both of them by her side, and that their names were uploaded after the investor meeting she had with him. Later on, their names were taken down because Minute He Jin denied having contact with investors, naturally including Davalink. Oh and K's CEO allegedly complained to Dispatch about the sudden change, claiming that they were the ones who came knocking at my door. 5. Minute He Jin's climb up the corporate ladder. Dispatch lastly claimed that Minute He Jin used immoral ways to steal new jeans from Source Music. They obtained some of her text messages, claiming that she used her body to climb the corporate ladder. I flirted heavily with, redacted. I made him come closer saying I couldn't hear him, sitting closer to him. I think I can make him totally fall for me if I just sleep with him once. It's not that I want to lobby using my body, but if sleeping with him will make things easier, then I can. It was said that she used love spells from a shaman to achieve this casting them on four to five men. Although she was rejected romantically, 
she allegedly was able to take new genes from Source Music to ADOR. Minute He Jin files lawsuit against Hype former CEO, CCO, and dispatch reporters. Minute He Jin's PR firm Markle Consulting Group has released a statement in response to Dispatch's previous expose about her alleged lies. According to her representative, they have filed a lawsuit against Dispatch and their report. According to Min's representatives, Dispatch reporters had based a recent news article about her alleged lies on one-sided guesses and information. The lawsuit also targets Hype's former CEO and CCO for spreading her personal information, including private text conversations, for their own media play. Hello. This is Markle Consutling Group, who is in charge of former CEO Minute He Jin's press and communications, alongside her legal team from Sejong Law Firm. We have filed a lawsuit for the violations of the Act on Promotion of Information and Communication Network Utilization and Information Protection with the Yongsan Police Station, against the former Hype CEO Park Ji Won, the Hype CCO Park Tai He, and against the dispatch reporters Kim Ji Ho and Park Hai Jin. In April 2024, the above accused parties, Park Ji Won and Park Tai He, illegally obtained private conversations and spread falsehoods against Minute He Jin, and used it aggressively to generate negative press about former CEO Minute He Jin. Dispatch reporters Kim Ji Ho and Park Hai Jin were well aware of their intentions as above, and continued to write press articles based on lies in order to disam, defame, and slander former CEO Minute. Even today, December 2, 2024, Kim Ji Ho and Park Hai Jin wrote an article far from the truth, and did not confirm the facts, adding their own one sided assumptions and guesses, publishing an article of faucets. Through this lawsuit, we will use thorough investigations to reveal their severe lies, and make them deal with it legally.